Isn't it bad enough that Demofo has fallen madly in love? Look at all the money he's blowing. Even if he invited 10 bigwigs to dinner, he's already spent too much. And the cooks! He's urging them on like the rowmaster does the rowers at sea. Well, I myself hired a cook, but I'm surprised he hasn't come as I ordered him to. But wait a minute, who's that coming out of my house? <gasps> the door's opening! There has never been a woman more miserable than me, nor will there ever be, all because I married such a man. Oh, miserable me! Here's the guy you can give yourself and everything you have over to. Here's the guy I brought an enormous dowry to, all so that I could see this, so that I could tolerate this abuse. Great merciful crap, I'm done for. <laughs> My wife's back from the country. I think she saw that girl inside. But over here, I can't overhear what she's saying. I'll creep up a little bit closer. Oh, I'm so miserable. No, I am. I'm ruined. I am completely and totally ruined. She did see her. To hell with you, Demofo. See, this is the reason my husband wouldn't come to the country house with me. Now what am I going to do except for go up and talk to her? To his lovely wife, her dear husband orders her good health. Are the country folk becoming urbanites? <laughs> the country folk behave more decently than the urbanites. Ah, oh, the country folk haven't done anything wrong, have they? Oh no, much less than the urbanites, and they're looking for a lot less trouble too. What have the urbanites done wrong? Tell me, I'd really like to know. Don't play games with me. You know exactly what's going on. That girl in there, who is she? You saw her? Oh, I saw her. You're asking who she belongs to. You know I'm going to find out. You want me to tell you who she belongs to? Uh, uh, that girl, by golly, uh, that girl. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Oh, no, no. And why don't you tell me? Why don't I? <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh, I, I can't. You're, you're pushing me too much. It's like you're accusing me of some kind of crime. Oh, I see. You're so innocent. Say it as loud as you want. OK, then tell me. I will tell you. Uh, you know I'm going to find out one way or another. Well, that girl in there. You still want me to tell you her name? Quit stalling. I caught you red-handed, you criminal. What's my crime? You're one. Uh, that one, by golly. Well, she's, uh... Who is she? Well, she's... <gasps> now, if I didn't have to tell you, I wouldn't just now. Don't you know who she is? Actually, I do know. I have been appointed her arbitrator. <laughs> arbitrator? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You're asking her for legal services. Oh, no, no, it's, it's not like that. She was given to me for protection. <gasps> I see. It's nothing like that, no. You're quick with the excuses. I've really gotten myself into a whole lot of trouble. I'm really stuck. <laughs> All right, hurry up, hurry up. We've got to cook dinner for an old lover boy. <laughs> But you know, when I think about it, we really don't have to cook for him, we have to cook for us. Because when a man is in love and he has the thing he loves with him, she's his food. <laughs> he st stares at her, uh, embraces her, kisses her, talks to her. But I'll bet you will leave here pretty well loaded up. <laughs> Come on, here he is. Oh, I'm done for. Look, it's the cook. We're here. Scram. You want us to scram? Scram! You want us to scram? Scram! But what about your dinner? We're full already. But I'm done for. What are you saying? Oh, oh, did they bring, bring these things too? The ones you're supposed to arbitrate between? Whoa, is this your girlfriend? The one you said that you were in love with when you ordered all this food? Won't you shut up? Wow, she's great looking, but she's getting a little bit old. Oh, <laughs> won't you piss off? <laughs> but she actually is really good looking though. But you are not. I bet she's a terrific concubine. <laughs> Why won't you go away? I'm not the one who hired you a bit ago. Oh, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done for. But you, 
Your wife is out in the country. Remember the one you said you hate like a snake? <laughs> I said that to you? Yes, to me. Wife, so may Jupiter love me. I never said that. You're still denying it? It's become public that you hate me. Oh, no, no, I don't. Oh, no, 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 it's not you he hates. It's his wife, and she's out in the country. <laughs> this is my wife. Why are you such a pain in my neck? Because you keep saying you don't know me. Unless you're afraid of her. Well, shouldn't I be? She's my only woman. Do you want me to call the police? Oh, no, no. Then give me my money. Come for it tomorrow. You'll get it then. Now scram! Ah! Now I see that old saying's coming true. A bad neighbor brings bad fortune. You know, why are we still standing here? I think he wants us to go. Look, if you've got a problem, it isn't our fault. Except for that you're pulling poor me up by the roots. You know, I'm getting the feeling you want us to leave. <laughs> I knew. I said so. Initiating getting lost protocol. Give me a drachma. You'll get it. Then it can be given while, you, while we wait while my assistant puts his things down. Why won't you scram? Is there any way for you not to be a pain in my neck? Put the things down at the old man's feet. You, old man. I'll be back for my things either later today or tomorrow. Let's go. Perhaps you're wondering why that cook came and he brought all these things. I'll tell you what's going on. I'm not at all surprised if you're conducting some sort of profligate scandal. But I won't put up with such a bad marriage or having prostitutes brought into my own house this way. Sarah, go. Get my father on my behalf and ask him to come back here with you right away. I'm going. Wife, you don't know what's going on, I beg of you. I'll swear an oath in Co binding terms that I never had anything to do with that woman. A Sarah gone. Oh, crap. Now my wife's gone. Oh, for the love of God. But you, neighbor of mine, may the gods and goddesses destroy you and your girlfriend and your sleazy affairs. He's filled me up with disgusting suspicions. He has stirred up enemies in my own home. Worst of all, my wife. I know what I'll do. I'll go down to the forum and I'll have a chat with that demophone. And I'll tell him that I'll drag that girl out into the street by her hair unless he takes her away from here, wherever he wants, out of my house. Wife, hey wife, I know that you're mad at me, but if you're smart, you'll have these things brought inside and that way we can have a better dinner sooner. Ahem. <clears throat> 